Hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome to Rasayan Academy, all of you. So in this video, as the name you see on the thumbnail, we are going to answer a very important question. Now this question has been put up uh, in front of me like a thousand times, and it's a it has become an unavoidable question, and that's why we are trying to answer it. Uh, let's see what are the important things that we need to consider while doing the CSI net preparation. So the question is, can we not study uh, the third subject like everyone most of the students who have completed their bsc and msc who are preparing for the csi net examination so they are mostly uh, let's say the student who has just come after msc they he or she is having a specialization in one subject may that be organic inorganic or physical right so the natural tendency is to be more inclined towards reading one subject properly and the other subject in a nice manner and completely ignoring the third subject okay so that is not going to help in csi net preparation i am going to break down the whole thing in front of you in this particular video and i think it will help you understand why or how you can manage or tackle the third subject also how you are going to have more clarity on how many marks you have to attempt and how many uh, marks you are going to get what is your accuracy so many things we are going to discuss in this particular video all right also after watching the video please comment in the comment section that did you like it and also is there anything that you uh, want me to uh, like uh, make a strategy on okay so yes let's first start this quickly so the first and the foremost question is for you what is the third subject please try to identify that okay so see i did my msc in organic so my specialization was in organic right and i kind of liked inorganic chemistry too but physical chemistry it's not that i hated physical or something but the touch has been lost because of studying so much of organic chemistry and uh, or organics ke uh, jaisa hi organometallics hai so yeah basically lost touch with physical so your brain is actually going to be very lazy in working out the third subject that's why you always ask me ma'am isko chhod dete hain na nahi karte hain ho jayega isse csi net qualify ho jayega but no let's see so yes this is an exercise that you are going to do first thing what is your third subject please be clear with this which one you don't want to study or you find difficult in studying right so let's say let's first of all understand that in organic inorganic and physical what are the important topics right and how much do you have to study each subject okay i am generally talking about all the topics under the subject okay how can you tackle the third subject that we are not going right now first of all we will generally see that these are the topics in organic chemistry general organic chemistry stereochemistry reaction mechanism intermediate pericyclic photochemistry name reaction reagents heterocyclic natural product asymmetric synthesis spectroscopy all right so these are the major topics that you get in the organic syllabus okay similarly for inorganic chemistry you have bonding acid and base main group element dnf block coordination organometallic bioinorganic these are once again major topics all right which are being asked similarly for physical chemistry it is quantum thermodynamics electrochemistry surface chemistry and polymer chemical kinetics group theory spectroscopy and solid state so these are all the major topics now how much do you have to study each subject is it that you have to cover all the topics no not really we will see how much percentage of the csi net syllabus you have actually got to cover you don't have to cover 100% of csi net syllabus which means you don't have to equally study all of these topics for uh, qualifying grf and even for getting a good rank you don't study all the topics equally okay let's see one more important point that is the weightage of all of these topic kya weightage hai uske accordingly we are going to pick out some topics and then we will uh, put our focus on those topics theek okay? hai now weightage of topics as we see i have deliberately taken the heavy weightage topics ya fir higher weightage topic jaise ki ye dekho 
reaction mechanism plus reactive intermediates 21 marks so these marks are average okay and these marks are average based on the new pattern of paper new pattern on old pattern mein kya difference hai in the new pattern of uh, in section a b and c you are actually acha a is aptitude right so in section b you are having to uh, like uh, do 35 questions out of 40 section c mein you are going to do 25 questions out of 60 theek hai to yahan pe choices thode kam hai as compared to the csr net examination before 2016 and onwards wahan pe choices zyada hoti thi so this average is related to the new paper pattern theek hai reaction mechanism including section b and section c you are having 21 marks reactive intermediates as well then organic reagents you are having 17 marks pericyclic and photochemistry you are having 20 marks name reactions you are having 13 marks spectroscopy you are having 10 marks so these are on an average aisa zaruri nahi hai ki har saal ke paper mein equal aayega not necessarily some year paper will have more topics more questions on reagents and less on name reaction some will have more on name reaction less on reagent so it's basically an average of csir right so these are the important ones for organic chemistry similarly for inorganic chemistry coordination is having 22 marks both in section b and c all right and organometallics is 25 marks main group is 11.75 and bonding chemical bonding has recently become very popular and it's the basic so 9 marks from here bio inorganic 8 marks f block and acid base combined 8 or 9 marks like this these are average and round off karke liya hai maine okay so just understanding how many marks which topic has quantum chemistry is a heavyweight topic as you can see 20 marks thermodynamic 15 marks kinetics 13 marks surface and polymer chemistry 11 marks spectroscopy 10 marks electrochemistry 11 marks group theory 9 marks and solid state 9 marks so aapko dikh raha hoga i have taken the average marks of both the section b and c and this is exactly what you need to know you don't need to go deep into the analysis that which topic is giving you more marks in section b which topic is giving you more marks in section c that doesn't matter because you are studying the topic for your knowledge and for cracking the examination, you will automatically be able to do questions when you know the topic. Okay, don't separately look for section B mein itne ka hai, section C mein itne ka hai. No, that's not necessary, right? Now, the strategy over here is if you are, uh, let's say, going for generally talking about your general preparation. Let's say I love organic, so I'll focus my attention on organic chemistry. Then my uh, most uh, important point is if one of my subjects is strong that doesn't make sure that i will be able to attempt all the questions from that subject or i if i have even if i have covered all the topic that does not make sure i will be able to attempt 100 percent of those questions that means there is no surety he only two subjects are even if Calculating the marks, even if you say ki haan, ye 200 marks jitne ho gai, to mujhe aur nahi chahiye, itna padne se a jayega. But it does not make sure ki aapko saare aare hai exam mein. So that's why we have this little strategy that we do. So one of my subject is strong. I will complete all of the topics in that particular subject, right? Now, inorganic chemistry, I'm like good with it. I might skip one or two topics. For that, I can cover up in physical chemistry as well. Let's say I have taken up some topics of physical chemistry. Now, physical chemistry is my third subject, for example. Which topics I have selected? All right, wo bhi hum baat karenge, how to select topics from your third subject. That also we will talk about. All right. Now, you see, guys, what needs to be done, I have like... Uh, chalked out very clearly ki aapko CSI net preparation ke liye kya kya karna hai. How many marks you want to attempt should be clear to you and how to cover that much marks that should also be clear. Theek hai? So first thing, what needs to be done, you must understand how many marks you want to attempt. 
इफ यू से मैम हमें 200 के 200 मार्क्स ही अटेम्प्ट करने हैं वी वॉन्ट टू अटेम्प्ट टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स देन ऑल्सो यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू कवर द होल सिलेबस ऑल राइट लेट सी कितने मार्क्स अटेम्प्ट करने हैं सो फर्स्ट थिंग गाइज फॉर गेटिंग जे आर एफ फॉर गेटिंग जूनियर रिसर्च फेलोशिप मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वन ट्वेंटी टू वन थर्टी मार्क्स इफ यू आर स्कोरिंग यू आर गोइंग टू गेट अ गुड रैंक इन द जे आर एफ ठीक है आउट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड इतने मार्क्स में आपको जे आर एफ मिल जाता है फॉर एल एस के लिए एवरेज लिया है मैंने हंड्रेड एंड फाइव आउट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड दिस इज एन एवरेज द कट ऑफ कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग एवरी ईयर एंड लेट से ट्वाइस अयर ओके सो दिस इज अवर टारगेट की इतने मार्क्स लाने हैं वी वॉन्ट टू गेट दीज मेनी मार्क्स सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू गेट दीज मेनी मार्क्स हाउ मेनी वी वॉन्ट टू अटेम्प्ट Assuming the accuracy to be 80%, परसेंट अब ये एक्यूरेसी बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड चीज है वी विल टॉक अबाउट योर एक्यूरेसी हाउ टू चेक योर एक्यूरेसी ठीक है सो अज्यूमिंग की एटी परसेंट एक्यूरेसी है इफ आई एम अटेम्प्टिंग वन टू वन फिफ्टी मार्क्स आउट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड आई विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट एट इन टू वन फिफ्टी इक्वल्स टू वन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स ठीक है तो ये वन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स अगर मेरे आ जाते हैं आई एम जे आर एफ वेरी वेल Now, 150 out of 200. If I want to attempt to get JRF clear, this is the minimum. Then that's 70 percent of the syllabus. 150 divide by 200 in 200. Isme aayega 70 percent of the syllabus. So, a normal student ki baat karu, jisko jaldi se jaldi exam crack karna hai, to ap 200 marks target nahi kar sakte. You cannot target 200 marks and crack the exam. No. you have to target 70% of the syllabus and then you go about uh, searching for topics with which you can cover 70% okay so yes one important point i was saying ki accuracy kaise check karte hai wo hum aayenge uske upar yes accuracy ke bare mein thoda sa aur detail mein batayenge but first let's see how to cover 70% of the syllabus so there are two methods ki 70% syllabus kaise cover karna hai फर्स्ट थिंग इज इफ वी वॉन्ट टू गो विथ हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स अगर हम हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स लेते हैं द वंस दैट आई हैव जस्ट शोन यू इन ऑर्गेनिक इन ऑर्गेनिक फिजिकल ऑल ऑफ दीज आर हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स दैट इज गोइंग टू टेक मोर टाइम टू स्टडी एंड इट इज ऑल्सो गुड फॉर द लॉन्ग रन बिकॉज दीज टॉपिक्स मेक द मेजोरिटी ऑफ द सिलेबस ठीक है लेकिन कुछ लोग ऐसे सोचते हैं कि नहीं ये बहुत ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट है तो हम इजी वाले टॉपिक से थोड़े थोड़े छोटे छोटे इजी टॉपिक से उनको कलेक्ट करके मार्क्स बना लेंगे ठीक है सो गोइंग विथ लो वेटेज टॉपिक्स इट इज गोइंग टू नीड लेस टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल सरफेस केमिस्ट्री पॉलीमर केमिस्ट्री सॉलिड स्टेट बट वैसे ही गाइज उसका फिर आपके पास में ऑप्शन uh, कम है क्वेश्चन के सो इट इज गुड फॉर बिल्डिंग कॉन्फिडेंस की चलो ठीक है एक टॉपिक हो गया दूसरा हो गया तीसरा हो गया you will feel good ki so many topics are complete but in the long run as well as getting more marks and more options in csir is not possible with it so we are trying to see how to cover 70% of the syllabus we are still on it theek hai chalo ab accuracy ki baat karte hain what is accuracy and how to check your accuracy now whenever you sit for a csir net PYQ paper solving or let's say a mock test. आपको करना क्या है Just sit for थ्री hours and solve the whole paper and then check how many questions you have attempted and how many marks you have got. ठीक है तो marks obtained marks obtained divide by marks attempted. यहां से आप check करोगे This into 100%. परसेंट यहां से आप चेक करोगे आपकी एक्यूरेसी ओके okay? अगर आपकी एक्यूरेसी एटी परसेंट भी नहीं है तो बढ़ानी पड़ेगी हाउ टू इंक्रीज दैट मोर एंड मोर प्रैक्टिस ऑल राइट सो अज्यूमिंग दैट द एक्यूरेसी इज एटी परसेंट इसलिए हमने ऐसे वर्क किया है कि वन फिफ्टी मार्क्स अटेम्प्ट करेंगे तो वन ट्वेंटी आएगा फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट वन फिफ्टी उसको मल्टीप्लाई कर लो फिर आप अकॉर्डिंग टू एटी परसेंट एंड सी हाउ मेनी यू हैव टू गेट ऑल राइट so please check this out this is a self analysis test do the accuracy test with yourself and then do the study all right also guys ye jo third subject hai na iske bare mein thoda aur detail mein baat karenge how to handle the third subject theek hai ye dekho now giving you more clarity on this 
just for example telling you how i did my preparation right so this is just a breakdown of the marks let's say i have completed overall organic it's my it was my major in msc to maine sare topic acche se kar liye reaction mechanism reagent pericyclic photochemistry name reaction spectroscopy everything right and from these topics i am getting 81 marks in total okay section b section c included i'm getting 81 marks similarly in organic chemistry me whatever topics i feel i can do and i'm strong in those i have picked out coordination omc these two topics are heavy weight topics which i have to take to increase marks 22 and 25 main group is like 12 marks okay very good chemical bonding is 9 marks bio inorganic is 8 marks acid base is 4 marks i'm getting 80 marks total एंड ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि जितने मैंने ले लिए टॉपिक में सारे क्वेश्चन करके आऊंगी कोई नहीं कर सकता राइट तो यस नाउ 81 एंड 80 दिस इज अराउंड 161 मार्क्स दैट आई एम लाइक गोइंग टू अटेम्प्ट ओके वेरी वेल गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर फॉर फाइन नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इज ये देखो 161 मार्क्स में से Sounds like it is a lot of marks. इतने marks तो काफी है मैम आपने तो 150 फिफ्टी बताया था जीरो पॉइंट एट एक्यूरेसी के हिसाब से बट द प्रॉब्लम इज नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्टेड आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी कम्प्लीट आई कैनॉट कम्प्लीटली अटेम्प्ट कोऑर्डिनेशन क्वेश्चन आई कैनॉट कम्प्लीटली अटेम्प्ट मेन ग्रुप क्वेश्चन तो ये जो बारह मार्क्स आपको दिख रहे हैं यहाँ पे मेन ग्रुप के लेट से आई डोंट नो अबाउट वन आर टू ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ मेन ग्रुप देन वॉट आर यू गोइंग टू डू अबाउट इट राइट even if you have studied everything from standard books you have solved all the previous year question but aisa hota hi hai exam mein that you have prepared one topic and now you're not able to solve a question so what are we going to do we are going to panic no right we are going to look for the third subject because it is there it is there we have options in csir net so let's say in physical chemistry i uh, went for low weightage topics that is chemical kinetics thermochemistry solid state electrochemistry all of these are low weightage topics but it actually helped me both in section b and section c it helped me in getting marks and uh, yeah i'm only talking about chemical thermodynamics not the statistical one okay right to agar main isme aur topics add kar du surface chemistry polymer chemistry and all the low weightage topics then what will happen the number of topics will increase बट इट इज गोइंग टू टेक लेस टाइम और ये वाले टॉपिक्स ना आपने ऑलरेडी क्लास इलेवन ट्वेल्व और बी एस सी में करे हैं ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन इन इलेवन ट्वेल्थ एंड बी एस सी राइट सो लेट से टोटल आई हैव गॉट थर्टी एट मार्क्स इफ आई एड इट इन वन सिक्सटी वन थर्टी एट मार्क्स हाउ मच आई एम गेटिंग आई गेट अराउंड वन नाइनटी नाइन मार्क्स ओके आई एम गेटिंग वन नाइनटी नाइन हैव आई कवर्ड द होल सी एस आर नेट सिलेबस नॉट एट ऑल I have not covered quantum. I have not covered statistical thermodynamics, group theory, physical spectroscopy. I have not done that. फिर भी मेरे 199, 200 marks हो रहे हैं. Okay? So you need this clarity that what topics I am going to prepare. अब ये जो मैंने ये वाले easy topics ले लिए हैं, right? This is for those who are like let's say who want to do less uh, hard work in physical. For those whose physical is good, you can directly jump on to quantum, which is directly going to give you 20 marks. Group theory, spectroscopy, all of those are going to give you 15 marks. Statistical thermodynamics, total मिला के 15 marks over there. So, अगर heavy weightage topic पे जाओगे तो time उतना ही लगेगा. Just that you have to work a little bit harder, but there is greater possibility that you are going to get the questions solved. Okay? So, यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा risk है. राइट बट द टॉपिक्स आर इजी यू नो देम तो ये जल्दी प्रिपेयर हो जाएंगे इफ यू लेट हैव लेस टाइम तो यू गो फॉर दिस टॉपिक इफ यू हैव मोर टाइम देन गो फॉर द क्वांटम एंड द हैवी वेट टॉपिक्स ऑल राइट सो बोथ वेज यू जस्ट हैव टू सी द टॉपिक वाइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड गेट योर 200 मार्क्स आपका 70 परसेंट सिलेबस कवर होते ही 200 हंड्रेड मार्क हो जाएंगे यू डोंट हैव टू कम्प्लीट हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ सी एस आई नेट सिलेबस जस्ट डू द जस्ट सी द टेबल ऑफ टॉपिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड कैलकुलेट योर टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स विच एवर टॉपिक्स यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स जिनका ऑर्गेनिक थर्ड सब्जेक्ट है यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्टडी ऑर्गेनिक अलॉट यू कैन गो विथ जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री 
let's see the table back again all right guys so if you see this general organic chemistry stereo chemistry they are going to give you like 8 marks 9 marks spectroscopy gives you 10 marks name reaction 13 all of these are small weightage topics just like i showed you in the physical but they form the basic of organic chemistry all right they form the basis of organic chemistry and they have to be done like you cannot skip them and directly move onwards to the heavy weight topics this is one thing about organic that the topics are interconnected to each other all right to agar aap jana chahte ho ki main directly heavy weight topic kar lu reaction mechanism reagent name reaction pericyclic everything not possible you have to first go through goc stereochemistry reaction mechanism and intermediates aur agar aapko let's say sirf panch topic karne hai organic se then you do goc and stereo and you do uh, reaction mechanism all right intermediates all right and let's say pericyclic and photochemistry pericyclic and photochemistry ye topic aapko karne zaruri hai bahut zyada zaruri hai once you are done with this this is the basic once again once you are done with this then you move onwards to reagents name reactions and so on राइट सो इफ यू जस्ट गो इन टू माई प्ले लिस्ट आपको वहां पे बेसिक ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री का प्ले लिस्ट मिलेगा वेयर मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स आर कवर्ड सो प्लीज चेक इट आउट यू इसी तरीके से अब अपनी एक्यूरेसी चेक करना और भी बहुत सारे टिप्स आने वाले हैं प्लीज ऑल्सो यूज हेल्प फॉर थर्ड सब्जेक्ट ऐसा नहीं है कि खुद से किताब पढ़नी शुरू कर दी इन टॉपिक्स के लिए डोंट स्टडी बुक्स इट इज गोइंग टू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम प्लीज यूज हेल्प इन द फॉर्म ऑफ video content or from youtube or from some notes whichever you like you can take an academy help as well don't study books directly study from videos or kabhi bhi practice question mat chhodo for those who say ha mam sab kuch pad liya but practice hi nahi kiya so there is no point in that without practice you cannot accomplish anything right we are not we are actually uh, stuck at this point ki करना तो वही है ना यू हैव टू अप्लाई योर नॉलेज सो विदाउट प्रैक्टिस यू आर नॉट गोइंग एनी वेयर एंड ऑल्सो अलॉट टाइम फॉर स्टडी एंड प्रैक्टिस सो दैट यू डोंट लूज द कंपटीशन दिस फीलिंग ऑफ कंपटीशन राइट डोंट लूज दैट और डोंट लैग बिहाइंड जस्ट टॉक टू योर लाइक लेट से फॉर दो आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी एस एंड नेट टेलीग्राम ग्रुप है आपके पास सबके टच में रहो and uh, don't set unrealistic targets jitna padha jaye utna hi padho and practice bhi karo right so there is a lot more strategy coming up your way if you want to know about any more topic please uh, uh, write in the comment section below also write how you like this video i'm going to see you all soon in another such video bye everyone have a nice day